In this video, we will see how we can create Basu on Kubernetes cluster. We have already seen uh, and uh, created the demo how we can create Basu on container environment of Docker using Docker Compose. Uh, we have created already multi node plus single node uh, deployment there. Here are some prerequisites cluster should be there, and we need two core of CPU, three gig of memory, RAM plus 2 gig of storage here is the overview win, uh, requirement for our deployment of a pod for our object like we have to deploy indexer and manager plus dashboard and indexer as indexer saved the logs we should have to maintain the state and we have to keep the logs uh, stored in uh, safe so we will create statement set for that same for manager uh, here and for dashboard which we only use for ui purpose is we can create deployment there here are this is some services which we will configure we will configure uh, three services for three component and uh, here are the ports which we are dealing from uh, day one these are the API board which will remain same. Uh, this are, we have already worked on that. So let's continue the deployment. Okay. Uh, let's start the demo and we will see things how the things are working. Let's paste it. It is an open or uh, public repository. We are going to download it and then after that we will uh, move under it into it under that what we have we have one directory with the fuzzu and what directory with the e, uh, env here in the env we have values of which suitable or which are compatible with the eks cluster and there are some local environment clusters also but if you want to create for eks or GKE, you have to change this value accordingly and uh, you have to uh, make the changes according to that and here uh, you can see in the wazoo we have the base under base we have this storage class storage class we require as we need storage to make the logs persistent and make our stateful set here everything which we will work we will work under the namespace wazoo and if you go to search folder currently there are only scripts is already available there not uh, the search we will create after that first we see what is in the indexer stack here we have the uh, dashboard deployment file we have already seen in the documentation that we will uh, creating deployment only for the dashboard for other we are creating the stateful set it's left now uh, link uh, repository link is available on uh, official documentation uh, when you here are some of the environment variable it's passing same way it's creating its service and if you can see that service its port is 443 and target port is 5601 okay uh, 5601 is the api port of the dashboard here is the uh, configuration file like open search dot yaml it or uh, not open search dot is dashboard dot yaml it the value will be placed uh, on the dashboard dot yaml or in this slash etc uh, dashboard under that and this value will be replaced there okay and uh, then we see configuration of the indexer we can make switch we have the cluster sts okay the template volume mounts in it container and in containers are required uh, having dependency for other containers and that way you can explore the things here you can the services 9300 that's the indexer svc this port is used for internal communication of the uh, indexer api services that we have done with 
database we have done the research we have index style we have the secrets uh like uh, username password there are so many things we have not keep these things as uh, in plain text is the base 64 encrypted things if you want to see how we can encrypt the things you should go to our uh, channel and you can watch there we have make we have videos of community specific tutorial like secret map config map so you things how to uh, understand these things are uh, it will make easy for you uh, we are making the the kind means object type is secret all we, we are passing the user all in encrypted form if you not pass it in any encrypted form it will not accept it and we will our deployment is getting failed that's for last we have the manager uh, manager service uh, 1516 okay first report sts stateful set we are making all the application which are critical to us and where the, where we want data to be persist at any cost we should make the uh, stateful set there okay uh, that's much to explore uh, you have to go to it it is just uh, it will just take you to i think up to 30 minutes to explore all the thing and we will come back to our deployment here we have to run this scripts or to generate this certificate certificate are important part of us as whenever we deploy do deployment we have to make sure that our deployment is secure uh, and secure and on, on HTTPS for that we require certs we are create, making our, our own created certs if you see here uh, certs are created let me run one more command then we will see here certs are there earlier uh, we just have when we should reflect here one second again open it here you can see that in the search index we have lots of keys are there plus same way you can see here are away Uh, we are ready with this search okay storage class is also there there is no issue what i'm looking for i'm looking for to create the deployment apply hyphen k environment eks when you run this particular command what it will do uh, it will initiate and starting to deploy all the YAMLs which we have seen of indexer stack, dashboard stack, plus uh, manager stack with uh, values from ENV, EKS. And till now we will see. Ah, uh, yeah. If you have other type of cluster, you have to. Um, make the things little you have to change just little things and then you are ready with uh, your particular environment if you are on-prem or other uh, cloud hosted and once it is done we have to uh, verify the things they are uh, running perfectly or not okay it is not going to make much time you can see that it's got created Okay, what it's saying to us we have to we have a uh, cube get name and we have grab particular that 
it is gauze which is created and uh, 77 seconds so that's now we can check this service is created or not here you can check dashboard is created with load balancer is 4433195 okay index services are created and uh, here you can see that uh, four indexer for puzzle we have used three indexer to avoid that because it is just a general type of uh, format we should use the ingress and uh, by using this we should only use one load balancer Here you can see kubectl get deployment hyphen and buzzer. Okay, dashboard is in a ready state and it's available. Now we can verify our stateful set, they are created or not. Yeah, they are also ready. In the last, we will see kubectl get words hyphen and wazoo. Okay, we have done with the uh, uh, deployment. Let let me to check on portal. Let access the services here. You can see that kubectl get service hyphen o hyphen white and dashboard is load balancer type and its DNS is showing. In the AKS earlier, I have made all the videos on AKS. We don't get this DNS. We usually get uh, uh, we usually get the IP over there. We don't get DNS endpoint. So here yeah, HTTPS. over there let's wait for it okay it's not private okay proceed okay it's working uh, what is id password yes this is the ID for admin and secret password and uh, we don't need to run it over uh, local host just we can verify them from here. Admin. Let's wait for it. Uh, it will call the all the APIs, and that it will start load. is hitting <laughs> now service are loaded and uh, we are ready with it once we have done uh, we can go with the installation of agent and then what we have if we want to upgrade uh, we can go through it and uh, how to clean up like uh, if we create it on EKS we have to go through this or if we have to create it on other cluster we can use that environment and first we delete this kubectl delete in the EKS it's work uh, very fast all the objects which we created will delete and then we have persistent volume yeah that one we can delete 
that way we have to uh, manually treat that in this way only yeah if you see no, it's not present there in that way you can delete and uh, all the things will clean up and uh, the system is back uh, with zero utilization by person so hope you like thank you for watching